Hey everyone, it's still day six. Um, I wanted to show you, yeah, sunset. So it's the end of the day on day six. I wanted to show you something kind of cute that uh, happens at the end of day six when you sit down and Shima brings you the usual dinner. Tonight I've prepared something especially for you so that you do not become too homesick. It is knockwurst and sauerkraut. Because remember, the uh, the first game took place in Spielberg, a somewhat sort of German Germanic kind of city. So we thank Shima as usual. But when you eat the food, uh, it has this usual message about um, numerous salads, two main courses, fruit, tea, dessert, etc., and then all the bread you could want. Unfortunately, you never really cared for sauerkraut and knockwurst, but you were too polite to tell Shima that. You must admit the honey and lemons on the knockwurst aren't too bad, but the sauerkraut curry is a bit much. Sauerkraut curry? I'm not a food person, so I don't know what sauerkraut or knockwurst are, and I don't know what curry is, but I'm assuming by the description that uh, they're probably not that great. But then what do I know? Okay, so let's sleep until dawn. And do the usual routine. It's day seven. We sit down. Shima brings us breakfast. We thank her. We eat. Okay. There are two things to do on day seven. Uh, the beggar is here asking for a centima for the poor. I already gave you a centima for the poor before. I'm not uh, sorry. One centima per game. All right. If you go to the guild hall, here's the first thing. Rakesh is here. You have saved the city with your courage and your resourcefulness. The land of Shapir is indebted to you. By order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid, I have been asked to give you this reward for your actions. Rakesh gives you the 50 dinar reward. Not too shabby. And if you, as usual, we're carrying so much that we can hardly move. We'd better drop something soon. We are all truly fortunate that you came to this land. Yes, yeah, so we get a 50 dinar, dinar reward for defeating the fire elemental. So we say thanks. I'm honored to aid you. That's the first thing. The other thing is if you go to the Fountain Plaza I'm on the wrong side of the Fountain Plaza. If you go to the other side of the Fountain Plaza The poet Omar thrills all katas with his poetry. And they ask, what is a hero? Though the answer is very clear. He's the one who faces danger when the darkness hovers near. And you can't actually click through these messages, or you can, but you'll just have to wait for the next one, so I'm not going to bother clicking through them. He will face the fiercest foe when another needs his aid. He will dare to defy death even though he is afraid. He works not just for glory and he does it not for gain, but because he knows that others will be spared a greater pain. Like having to listen to Keepin' Laughin' talk. He won't always follow orders, for he dares to answer why, and unless he likes the reason, he refuses to comply. He will brave the battle boldly, even though he may not win. He will face his fate unflinching, for he is a paladin. Well, we're not a paladin. We've already broken into that house with all the guys coming in drunk, and now we've uh, stolen a whole bunch of money from Isser, the weapon manufacturer. And they ask what is a hero, though the answer is evident. He's the one who faces death, knowing that his life's well spent. I think that's it. I think Omar's done with his poetry. And once you're done listening to his poetry, or actually even if you get tired of listening to his poetry and leave before he's done, if you leave that screen and then come back... Oh, what's this? There's something on the, on the ground you see a small leather purse on the plaza floor. Well, let's go and pick it up. Get the purse. You pick up the purse and open it. It has six denaros and twenty-five centimas. It also has a small scrap of paper with the words Quelling Chaos from Shapir, Driving Darkness from Rasir. Well, it appears that Omar the Poet has dropped his purse. As usual, we're carrying so much that we can hardly move. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so I'll save the game. Uh, we got um, got Omar's purse, 
And we could keep the purse and the money inside it, but actually, I'm probably going to give it back to him because it only had, what, like six denarius inside it? That's not even worth keeping. I think I'm just going to do the, the nice thing and give it back to him, even though, uh, even though we could keep it. Let's see, what does it say about it in the inventory? Your leather purse uses a drawstring for closure. Indeed it does. Uh, okay. So, uh... Yeah, that's funny. My cod piece uses the leather uh, drawstring for closure as well. All right, so that's it for day seven. You get the reward from Rakesh. You um, get Omar's purse, and we'll have to return it to him next time he does some poetry, which uh, actually... When is, when is his next poetry session? I'm not sure. I don't know. Whenever it is, I'll probably return the purse to him. So that's it. That's it for day seven. Uh, other than that, there's nothing special about this day, so I'm probably going to do some more grinding with Uhura. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later.